<laughs> Ladies, welcome to the GCFA Off Air. I'm here with my man Cedric, the entertainer, Hot B, J. Scott, and TP, who's done in the red gloves. Real quick, TP, you came away with the Super Bowl last year in 2009. Uh, a lot of people was hating on y'all, didn't think y'all can do it, and y'all showed up in the big game. Tell me what was going on. Uh, man, really, man, it, it, we just had to adjust to the weather, man, and, uh, you know, we had been jetting around that time of the season, man. We, we was just jetting. Once the playoffs kicked in, man, we, we kicked into another mode, man. And, and we took it from there, man. We took the hand. We had we controlled our own destiny, you know. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of naysayers, man. And, you know, we had to step up to the plate, man, and prove that, you know, this, this is the reason why we have haters. This is the reason why, you know, we in the GCFA and teams want to come play us in the GCFA and all around Texas. I mean, we had to step up and, and do what we had to do, man. And we just started jetting at the right time, man. That's all, man. Going into that game, Jay Scott. The Red Raiders have beat y'all twice in the year, but y'all said, you know, there's little mistakes here, little mistakes there, but when it, when the time counts, you guarantee y'all was going to win it. Mm -hmm. And when that day came and y'all came away with the victory, everyone was surprised except the Wolverines. Why? Because there's no team like a playoff Wolverine team. You can face a regular season Wolverine team, right. and you think you may have us figured out, but playoffs time, it's like everyone steps their game up times 10, man, and we was on one page, we were focused, and it was nothing less than championship. You got four Super Bowl rings yourself going for the pinky ring right now. I have five. You got five Super Bowl rings. Five. I've been here since day one. Five Super Bowl rings. So tell me, how did it feel to get that fifth one? I mean, I know you got four, but to get that fifth one last year when everyone doubted you, was it a special feeling? It, it was very special. But I, I feel like truly we, we earned that one, man. Okay. We earned that one because it was years past that, we had a juggernaut team. And right. It was expected of, of us to win, but nobody thought we was <laughs> had, had a shot in the hell last Nobody year. but y'all. Yeah, nobody, nobody but the but Wolverines us, so, you know, yeah. believed it. Yeah. Cedric the Entertainer Hot. Was good. A few years ago, you was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> As quarterback, used to be in there going against this same Wolverine team. <laughs> and then last season, you decided to hit the free agent market and come to the Wolverines, the, the Red Raiders felt disrespected, and to beat the Red Raiders to get back to the Super Bowl, come on, man, you got to tell me, that was a special feeling for you in itself. Oh, yeah, touch, touch just like these Kittles, I mean, it was sweet. <laughs> it, was, it was real sweet. I mean, to, like, we, we, like, like, like Scott and T.P. said, we hit the raid on them, it was like, it, it, we jailed. Right. It was one of those teams, it's, and it's like watching the NFL playoffs. Once you... It's about who can get hot right now. Right, right. At that right. time, we jail. Right. Honestly, we jail. Practice became better. Everything started clicking, timing, everything. And when it came down to the playoffs, yeah, the people would say, well, the first game looked like a struggle. No, it was a blowout. It, right. was, it was a beatdown. I mean, period. It was a loss. Right. We moved on. We played the Red Raiders. And to take that feeling and win that game, I mean, the way we did even though we and we went down the fourth quarter, going into the fourth quarter, they scored, didn't they? Right. At the end of the we third quarter, down. we mm -hmm. went down by by a well, touchdown, by, right. touchdown. by, six, points. by six points, and to come back and get the ball back, drive down the field, hmm. and eat the clock with that, right? Sack them in the safe, in the end zone for a safety, and come out of there with that victory, and that was sweet, man. Now, as for you, sweet. the Wolverines, they got Super Bowl rings, but for you to get your first Super Bowl ring. And realize when that clock started ticking down five, four, three, two, one, mm -hmm. and get that champagne shower. Tell me, for you and your family, I mean, did you cry? I mean, how did it feel? No, I think I was the first one to realize the game was over. Right. I mean, everybody looking around like, and because no buzzer went off, I ran on the field, and everybody looking different, took another snap, and game was over. It was already zero. So it, I mean, it felt good. I mean, it it didn't. It actually didn't sink in until last Tuesday. Yeah, it didn't sink in until last Tuesday, something like that. That's the Super Bowl ring right there? Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. It sunk in last Tuesday, but now you know, now that we're showing these off and this is fun and dandy, I mean, this is just one. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm never satisfied. I mean, one when you can get them all. Yeah, TP, exactly. how do you keep satisfied. the fire burning? Um, Several Super Bowl rings. Now this year, you got new teams in the league yeah, yeah. coming in, talking smack. As you know, the Cleveland Outlaws, they're on, they're on there talking about y'all really shouldn't have beat them last year. And I know, hey, woulda, shoulda, coulda, whatever. Y'all got the rings to show like uh, Lil Wayne says. You done in the red gloves this year. Tell yeah. me what that's all about. Uh, man, I'm just, you know, being me, man, I'm just expressing myself, man. I, I'm, I got a, one of those personalities, like like said, the entertainer over there. You know what I'm saying? I carry the little persona and, you know, do me and express myself the best way possible. You know what I'm saying? And try to have fun doing it, you know, and, uh, 
you know, I'm going to give a shout out to the GCFA, man. We got a lot of new teams, man. And, you know, I want to come out. You know, the Wolverines, we come off as arrogant and, you know, we, we, we think You got the right to be. But we, we do own that right, you yeah. know, but... You, know, you were the it's, team it's, of the, the 2000 It's about decade. showmanship, too, though, because if we knock you on your, on your butt, man, we'll pick you up, too, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's not all about just down in the next, man. It's about sportsmanship because exactly. we got, I got kids, and, you know, they come out and watch. I have a little league team, man. We come out. We're trying to do, this, you know, do, do things in the community, man. But, you know, it's all good, man. I welcome all the new teams, man, but you're going to have to grind to get it, man. We put in a lot of uh, man hours, man, just hmm. watching film and practicing and just even at home when we in our individual bedrooms dreaming about, what play can we run or how can, what <laughs> formation of guys to put in the game to, to make it, you know, work together, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we put a lot of that into everything, and I, I think that's what a lot of guys and a lot of new teams don't understand, man. We put a lot of work into it, man. A lot of thought process goes into being a champion. I mean, you don't become a five-time champion just by coming out there and playing football every day right. on, on every Saturday, every Sunday, every Friday or whatnot, man. So, you know, it's a, it's a hard work. It's just hard work, man. It's a grind. It's a struggle. So, you know, just 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 it's, if you got it, if you, you got to have want to, like Gator say, man, right. you got to have some want to. And if you don't want to, man, then, then how could you? You say you should have beat us, but you could have beat us. You never beat us, man. Jay Scott, to be hated on, that means y'all's doing something right. That means they saying they don't like y'all, but you know what? Actually, when they don't like y'all, that means they're trying to be just like y'all. Exactly. Because to, to, to walk exactly. away with five and six rings and be in the Super Bowl every year, that shows that y'all got a program going on over there. Mm -hmm. So tell me, this year, 2010, you're being hated on again. Hmm. What do you have to do to keep the fire burning for the Wolverines? You're well, a leader. Fourth, the, the hatred goes, Junior, man. It, it's one of those things. It comes with the territory. Right. It comes with the territory. And one of the big, biggest misconceptions of us is, is that we are arrogant. I mean, we can be. I mean, if we wish to be. But at the same time, when those, the, the clock hits zero and, and they, they realize that's a classy organization, right. you know, yeah. then they, 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 the thoughts change of us. I mean, as far as keeping the, the fire burning this year, from what I've seen so far, man, I don't think it's enough fire eaters in Houston to put us out. That's just my opinion, man. Can I expect the Wolverines back in 2010? Punch the ticket, man. Yeah, man, it's going to be a show, man. For sure. Show time, man. <laughs> show time, man. Shaka Zulu said that, man. You already know it, man. Cedric. Yo. Can I expect it? Yeah. I, I look at you as the voice of the team because you talk more smack than anybody, but you back it up. Yeah. You back it up. Yeah. So what you got to tell the GCFA right now, looking at camera, what you got to tell them, Sid? First of all, I want to welcome all the new teams. You know, yeah. new teams, welcome, old teams, good to see you. Cleveland all laws, watch what you say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> watch what you say. If you want to hate, don't hate, imitate. That's my boys right there. Jay Scott. I want to say, man, misconception, man, about them cats, man, that left the team or whatnot, man. They tried, they chose to go on and do better things, man. I still love them, man. You know what I'm saying? They still love them. It's still family. They still bleed blue on the other side. You know what I'm saying? They know what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we just got to move on and do our thing. Ain't gonna, ain't one, one clown don't stop the circus, man. You know what I'm saying? We got, like I say, man, we got cats that's been waiting to step into the limelight, man. And there's no love lost in them cats, but they got a target on their back, too. So Real quick. Bring it, man. Before we end this session... Where my killers at? In the blue!